West Indies were the team that ruled cricket from the 70s to the 2000s but it is now going through a seriously rough patch and the cricket west indies is one of the poorest cricket boards in the world following the conditions of the cwi former caribbean pacer winston benjamin came forward requesting assistance from other countries since he shared a good bonding with the indian legends like sachin tendulkar and mohammad azharuddin benjamin asked them to heed to his call The pacer emphasized that he wasn't looking for any monetary donations instead he urged the indian legends to send over some equipment for the caribbean youngsters benjamin also utilized this opportunity to thank azhar for responding to his proposal since azhar sent over some equipment for the west indies youth the cricket fraternity wonders what happened to the legacy of sir vivian richards and the other legendary cricketers how did the cricket west indies board end up in shambles the audit ringing bells of the board's failure cwi's massive cash crunch came to light during the pandemic delayed payments and 50% pay cuts conveyed there was something amiss both international and domestic players took pay cuts of 50% it was time for an audit of the cwi pkf the external and independent auditors found a massive hole in the financial structure of the cwi Although the board struggled with a cash flow crisis the report shifted the onus of the blame to historical factors the previous administration's work led by David Cameron came under severe scrutiny Cameron was quick to dismiss the report questioning its findings the report estimated a squandering of over $300,000 due to the overcharging by Cameron the auditors found a few other discrepancies too Even though the previous administration shared part of the fault it didn't change the fact that the current board was also failing its players players engrossed in private leagues another hit for the CWI was the development of private leagues like the Caribbean League and the IPL due to CWI's cash crunch the players kept shifting their focus to the private leagues many players went as far as playing in these leagues over the international games The caliber of the West Indies team took a solid hit there. No countryman would like to watch their team lose, and without their best leading them, the West Indies team has been in quite a slump. Viewership going down is never good news for any cricket board. The financial crunch is crippling the ecosystem in the West Indies. With no money to invest in facilities and training camps, it's a bleak future for the West Indies cricket enthusiasts. Guess we'll just have to hold on and hope for the best. Some paradigm shift might just give the CWI the boosters they need and the West Indies team could eventually reclaim the glory of their past.